for sale now Vehicle Max is a beautiful 2009 Buick Enclave CXL, pearl white on the outside with tan leather interior, completely loaded up with factory navigation, factory backup camera, factory power moonroof and panora panoramic rear view, power tailgate, DVD player, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. As also uh, cool seats and heated seats, 19 inch chrome wheels with new tires, car has a clean title and a clean Carfax so you can view right now for free at our website vehiclemax.net so only 40,000 miles we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street Miami Florida 33142 is our zip code we are open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays we have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars we are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, one of the many options in this vehicle is a remote start. Car has to be locked. Press and hold. And the car turns on. And this is a really cool feature, especially in the summer when it's nice and hot. As so long as you had the air conditioning on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on, so will the AC and it'll cool down the car for you. Same thing in the winter. As so long as you had the heater on when you last left the vehicle, when the car comes on and reaches temperature, it'll warm up the car. When you're ready to drive off, just walk up to the car, unlock the vehicle, stick the key in the ignition, open the switch, and you can drive off. If you change your mind, you can just turn it off right here. Okay? Also, uh, another feature is the power tailgate. You press and hold the button. And you can open and close it right from the remote, from the inside of the car, or from the handle in the back. <clears throat> okay. So let's go ahead and let's go inside the vehicle and um, see the interior options. Okay. The door panels are two-tone, tan with a mocha in the top, with the uh, silver lining here and the chrome door handle, as well as the wood trimming. Of course, the vehicle is equipped with power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tow wheel, and also this particular unit has power folding mirrors, memory seats for up to two drivers with the easy in and out button, dual 12-way power seat, power recline, and lumbar support. We also got our curtain side airbags on the front post, the middle post, this third post and the last post as well as we got seat side airbags so we got a total of uh, five airbags per side and um, the two front airbags from the steering wheel and the passenger just a total of 12 airbags here's your panoramic look from the rear the shade is on right now I'll get that going for you let me go ahead and uh, open this up here okay and we're gonna get the DVD going as well Okay, power tilt trim. And it's also telescopic. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get it started. Okay. As I was saying before, the car has 40,930 miles. To the right there you see it's got a digital display for the outside temperature. Let's go ahead and put the, well the AC is already on. Okay, and uh, let's put the movie here. This is the same movie that it's playing in the, uh, in the rear and I'll show you that now. Let's go ahead and just lower the volume so you can hear me better. <clears throat> as long as the car is in park, you can actually, um, watch the same movie that the rear row passengers are watching on the navigation screen okay once you put the car out of uh, park the movie will go away and it'll go to whatever you had last whether it's your navigation screen or if you put it in reverse then your backup camera comes on and I'm gonna go ahead and back up to the vehicle back there to show you how it works uh, this vehicle does have also uh, parking sensors. Go ahead and get closer to the vehicle back there. Get the parking sensors to come on. Okay, there's the first set of warnings. 
and there'll be there's a little illuminated um, panel back there. It's a little hard to see because the sun is like it's actually right in our face. But there's a little yellow light there. And when we get closer, a second warning, second uh, band of yellow lights will come on back there. Let me see if I can if you can see it now. It's a little hard to see because the sun is setting right behind it. Then a little closer, it'll be a third set of warnings, which will be in red. And this is uh, it's letting you you're about to hit the vehicle. This is a rear bumper. The camera is very accurate, as you can see. I can actually back up a little more if I want to. See? All right, let's go ahead and pull back up. And eventually, it'll go back to um, whatever it was on before. It won't go back to the movie because I'm in gear. I can press here, but it won't. Uh, it won't let me uh, watch it until I put it in park. Okay, there you go. Okay, we also have the navigation here. And when you switch this to navigation in the rear, they keep watching the movie, so it doesn't affect them. Okay, uh, so many options. Let's start off with uh, over here is your um, heated and cooled seats. This is the heated heats, the heated seats here. Let me get a little closer so you can maybe uh, focus in. And it's got th three different levels of comfort, uh, high, medium, low, and off. And the cool seats are up here. Okay. And obviously it's on both sides. The power tailgate, you can operate it right from here. If you press off, it means that, that you're turning off the power tailgate. So you cannot open it in any way. If you leave it there, it's ready to go. And if you push on here, the power tailgate will open. Traction control, that's in order to disable it. Your rear, wa uh, rear window washer and wiper. Automatic transmission with a manual shifting mode. So you can see... On the knob there, it's got a plus and a minus. Well, I'll show you what that looks like up here. Right now it's on park. I'm going to move it to reverse. Okay, the camera comes on and the uh, locks get engaged. Neutral. Drive. And that's how you're going to drive it 99% of the time. But if you want to put a little sport into it, control the shift manually. Just slide it to the L. You'll see a 1 comes on next to it. When I tap on the plus, you'll see the number increases because I'm up shifting all the way up to six-speed automatic transmission if I click on the minus then we're downshifting okay that doesn't interest you just push the lever up and the six-speed automatic transmission will shift for you okay go ahead and put it back in park I'm gonna go ahead and rev the engine keep an eye on the left hand dial and the reason I'm doing that is so you can see that the car is running and that there are no check engine light on no airbag light no service engine soon no maintenance zoom nothing like that everything is working perfectly um, up here we've got an auto dimming rear view mirror when somebody puts their high beams on you the mirror will darken so it doesn't bother your vision got the OnStar system and in a little bit I'll talk to you about the OnStar system and what it does home link or universal garage door opener you can program up to three gates or garage doors got another got a set of map lights here this is a set of map lights on every section of the vehicle the front row which where we are I'm here now the middle row and the rear row uh, Okay, so let's talk about the OnStar for a second. If you happen to get into a car accident, any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it would send an immediate signal to the OnStar Center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. If you happen to lock your keys inside your car, there's a number where they provide you with. You call that number. Once they identify that it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. The red button is for emergencies. You press that and they'll ask you what kind of emergency you have and they'll, um, they'll help you out. If you're uh, playing on loss, you can just press the blue on start button and they'll give you turn by turn directions until you arrive at your destination. If you buy this vehicle, you get a, uh, you can get a three, um, a free three month uh, trial period for the OnStar. Uh, if after three months you're not satisfied with it and you want to cancel it, they'll go ahead and reimburse your money and you'll pay nothing. Up here we got some storage, <coughs> excuse me, storage. And I wanted to show you the dashboard so you can see that there are no burn holes, no cuts, no tears, no cracks. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere on the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke. So it looks like the previous owner was definitely a non-smoker. All right, panel over the passenger front seat. Okay, um, uh, the shade for the front moonroof is manual. You just push up on it and let it slide back. And uh, let's go ahead and um, open up the, the shade in the rear. See if I can do this one hand here. It's uh, electrical, and we'll go ahead and slide it back now so you can see what it looks like. 
Okay, and now we're going to open the front moonroof here. I'll oh, we'll leave it open. Should have done that earlier so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. Okay, what else? Um, automatic headlights with fog lamps. Um, the two, the windows in the front are one touch, meaning you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. You just press it hard once, and it'll go. Out. Same thing for going down too. All right. Power folding mirrors, as you can see, and they're also heated. All right. Um, we have also a uh, Bluetooth right here, and uh, let's go ahead and put the uh, stereo here and listen to some music. By the way, it's a touch screen as you can see, and it has XM. By the way, the XM on this particular unit is still um, is still uh, active, but eventually you're gonna have to sign up for your own subscription. Right now, we're getting a little bit of a freebie from the previous owner. To control the radio volume, you can do it from right here, the steering wheel. Okay, and then the source is um, to go from AM to FM to DVD to auxiliary, and auxiliary is your port up here for your iPod. These two buttons here are to navigate about your preset stations, which would be these that are marked up down here. And this is your seek button. Cruise controls on this side. The steering wheel is part leather wrapped and part wood, and I'll pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's in terrific shape. Once again, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and always closed on Sundays. Again, if you have any questions or if I missed something and you want me to go over it, uh, you can reach me at 305-218-5462. Okay, uh, cup holders in the center. Um, this particular pocket here slides back, and you have uh, uh, coin slots and a little space there for like maybe pens and stuff like that. This center console here slides up and down so you can put it where you feel more comfortable and it also has storage right in there. <coughs> your main glove box is over there and there's your headsets for the DVD and also your owner's manual and it's booklet there. Okay, um, I think we might be ready to move on to the back so let's do that. Like I said before, if I missed anything, call me and I'll be glad to go over with you. I'm trying to do as much as I can, as much as I can remember. This particular unit has also uh, the factory running boards. Okay, they're molded into really, really sharp. Uh, door panels in the rear, same as in the front. Tan with a mocha, with a silver lining here and the chrome handle. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How that works is the following way. Stick your key in here or a screwdriver, twist it to the left. And what that does is that disables this inside door handle. Just in case you got small kids and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside, once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open is the outer handle. To re-engage, just do the opposite. Stick your key in there, twist it to the right, and then this handle will start working again. To get access to the rear, the little ones can just walk in between, or even some of the adults, it's not that hard. Or this seat, you, you um, pull on this, uh, where's the handle here? Uh, right, uh, right here, and then this will slide forward, uh, flip forward and slide, so you can get access to the rear. This is a seven passenger vehicle, two in the front and two in the middle that makes four. And the rear, you got a full bench of three passengers and they all have an over the shoulder belt, including the middle row passenger, which uses that belt that comes off the roof there. Uh, also, these seats have anchors for your baby car seat. The middle row passengers can control the air conditioning back here. They can control the fan speed, the airflow, and also the temperature, as well as the stereo. And there's jacks there on either side there for headsets too. Uh, and I think back here, if we slide this forward, yeah, actually, it's a little hard to see here, but this is our video input. Here's the cigarette lighter adapter, and here is a, uh, I think this is a 120. Uh, so if you can power it there, you can actually watch it here. So, all right. Got the factory floor mats with the anchors, so they don't slide around. Uh, let's come around to the back. All the tail lights and headlights are in, are in great shape. They're not cracked or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. All the chrome trimming is in good shape. It's not peeling anywhere. All right. Uh, rear wiper, rear window defroster. 
parking sensors. There's uh, four in the rear bumper, two on each side. Those are the ones we were beeping earlier. Again, it's the uh, CXL model, top of the line. In here, there's a switch for the power tailgate. You can't see it, but you just squeeze in here, and the power tailgate, as long as the car is unlocked, will open. This third row seat is what we call a 60-40 seat. 60% on this side, 40% on that side. And uh, when you pull on this handle here, the headers will flop forward, and then you can just push it down, and it'll lay down completely flat to go into cargo mode. You can do both sides, or you can do one side and not the other in case, to say, you want to put a large box here, but you still need to sit somebody here. You can do this completely independent from this side, okay? So same before, curtain side airbag all the way back here as well. Another cigarette lighter adapter, and below here it's just for storage. It's minor pocket, they're not that big. To close it, you can do it from here, from the remote, or from the front. All right. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Okay. Come around to the right rear door here. I'm sure by now you notice that none of the speaker covers are cracked. All right, front door panel. As I was saying before, not only do we have uh, power seats on the driver's side, but we have power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support on the passenger side as well. That's pretty much going to do it for the video in this unit, but before I end it, I want to go ahead and talk to you about financing. If you require financing, well, let me tell you, we have um, all types of financing. We have excellent rates for good credit, and we also have special financing for not such good credit. We even have some programs for uh, really rough credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing or you want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, run the homepage, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.